All right, let's see about the mushroom house. Let's see, do I actually need it? I would not get a power-up by doing so. So I'm gonna skip that. And go into Larry's Torpedo Castle. All right, Larry's Torpedo... is, uh, again, Torpedo Ted's, as they're called. Again, this is an enemy you rarely saw in, um, Super Mario World. It was only, they only appeared in one stage. And that was, uh, Soda Lake, a level you could easily miss because how to get to that secret level was kind of a pain because you had to cheat as Yoshi to get up and down through there or just... You, basically, you sacrifice, you sacrifice Yoshi or you just, uh, you know, fly really high or very low underneath the goalpost just so you can get the extra exit. Very kind of hard level, but in fact, that's the only time the Torpedo Ted show up. So these guys are like the underwater bullet builds of the game. Now basically, they don't home on you. There is a red variant you'll see uh, later on. I think it's in a boss fight only, I think. But the but the Torpedo Ted's, the red ones, will actually home in on you after a while and then blow up. But these guys are kind of... They kind of basically, you know, hinder you, your progress in some fashion. Because they're just so many and they spawn just everywhere. Oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. You made my power up, thank you. I'm gonna need those. The ice flower can basically freeze them in place for only a certain amount of time, and then they just break free. Again, kind of annoyance, slight annoyance in that regard. Oh boy. Up the pipe we go. Up the pipe, up the pipe, let's go. Give me a reprieve of just. Is there just coins here? Is that it? That's it? Just coins up here? That's it. Nothing else. Okay. That's kind of a worthless uh, secret area. <laughs> now I gotta worry about the torpedo. Go right here. Go, go, go. Get my power-ups. The super crown. Huzzah. Sweetness. You know the fact that Pinta, that Toad, that the only, oh yeah, the only other time I, I got to reject my statement earlier, but I actually did see Toadette in a different game and whatnot, and that was Mario Kart Tour. She was part of the Peach Tour that you can play as her. <laughs> so yeah, she does make an appearance as a separate entity. <laughs> so the Super Crown became sentient. Oh, dang, I should have taken that. Oh well. Ooh, the oh, coin up there. I'll take it. That's kind of weird that it's placed right there. What a do 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 no. Also, also the fact that oh yeah, Toda can't go into uh, challenges like the mushroom houses and whatnot. Because again, it kind of break the game in half. So yeah, you have to switch to a different character if you don't use the mushroom houses uh, for the the <laughs> for Toda for the power ups. Toda's already easy enough as it is, right? Let's go. Oh boy. And we're up and out of there. Let's go after Larry. And Larry's got unique a boss stage as well. Because he actually uses the water. Uh, the stage to basically to help him fight. But he also uses the wand from Mario 3. You know, that kind of weirdly is like, these were, you know, power up. These were wands given to, you know, given to the kings. The kings of the land and whatnot. But it's like... There we go. I gotta watch out for his attack. Oh, I jumped into it. No. How dare I get hit by it. Ah. <laughs> uh, fine. You want power-ups? I will get power-ups. Fire flower. I also have to start by the net. Let's go up that way. Cut. All right, here we go. Round two. I got my, I got a power up that could probably be a very useful for us. I usually don't die to this guy, but you know, recording curse always a problematic in these games. 
All right, Larry, round two. How are you back? I am back. Oh, boy. Oh, you tried to jump and you got hit there. Yeah. Again, the water spouts are basically the worst part about the stage because it helps Larry get around the level. Pretty simplified. Ooh, y'all! Take you out! Yeah, you're not gonna give me the best of me this time. Oh boy, nope, he's on top of the water. Spouts. Bam! Only one death. No worries there. Toadette wins the day! We might be playing as her in, in another world or such, but we'll never know. <laughs> but Toadette finally took on a world, took on Larry. Means she's a capable Toadette. Means the Toads are not indeed powerless. <laughs> and Larry is down for the count. And we get another set of uh, points to get us to the level next world, but that will take us to a special instance, and I do not want that. So we're going to go running ourselves back through the world to get us to uh, world uh, world 4. Zoopa doopa dappa doo da doo. And we get to switch to a different character. We get to switch to Toad. Because we gotta switch to a different level, level, level character depending on what happens. Because I don't want to be as Mario or Luigi all the time. Want to make everything new and unique and interesting. There's multiple characters. We're gonna have some fun with this. Oh, look at that, another acorn suit. Oh, that reminds me. I could probably get a free acorn suit now, right now at the moment. Let's check. I'm gonna go back to Acorn Plains and get myself a free power up if it's responded enough. Power this back. Whoop! Yep, I get a free power up. Yeehaw! You see? I don't really need to go after the mushroom houses. These things pop up so frequently that you just like, wow, I don't really don't need to do the challenges. Let's go back to the frosted glacier. And see, after a while, the power ups just respawn after a while. Because see, like the one in the desert has also responded. So if, again, if you want free power ups, do that. You don't have to go into a mushroom house at all. If you play your cards right. <laughs> All right, let's go to Frosted Glacier, Spinning Star Sky. Let's go. And we got our nice, uh, ice levels. And I like this star. It's too bad this, this little thing was not part of uh, Mario Maker. Like this, like these stars. I wish you could put these in the stages, because this is kind of a cool mechanic. I like the little spinning platforms. Like, you have to makeshift a spinning platform in Mario Maker. <laughs> Oh boy, nope. And also, come and think of that, it's kind of a shame that Mario Maker 2 didn't get that extra style on the right side, thanks to the unfortunate measures in 2020. It's kind of a horrible situation at hand, but, you know, oh, dang it, that was supposed to go up. Oh, I should have gone up. Okay. That would have been a secret up there. Oh, I can actually get up there, actually. If I was Toadette, I could probably get up here pretty easily. But I'm not Toadette now. We're playing as normal, normal mode Toad. There was anything up here? Oh yeah, there's just a way to get up here. <laughs> I kind of cheesed it. <laughs> cheesed it to victory! Oh, this. Oh, there we go. Coins of plenty! So I wish I had this in Mario Maker, you know? This little way to, you know, hide away secrets behind a level. It just feels like maybe there will be a third Mario Maker. If that happens, then... You know, I wouldn't be, you know, wouldn't be surprised. I don't know what they could add in a Mario Maker 3. Unless they add new styles that would complement the others. Unless it's a 3D Mario Maker, then, you know, Maker games have been coming out lately. Especially a Super Dungeon Maker that came out on uh, Switch and Steam. Which is basically a Zelda Maker in general. Which, again, is a, I, it's a kind of cool game. I'll be playing it... I, I hope they'll be playing it soon for, the, for a Game & Chill eventually at some point. But, that'll come later. <laughs> As of right now, we got Mario to deal with. Mario for well, not Super new, new Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe, where you don't get to play as Mario. <laughs> That's Super Luigi U. <laughs> well, of course it is. Man, this suit is so good. I wish they had expanded more of this suit. Like this suit is amazing. Starman, give me some money, zoo. Yeah, <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. 
Ooh. Also, I love how they retain the idea of the um, of the spinning of spinning a sprite when you have the Superstar Man. Again, another payover from Mario Three. I feel like this is just Mario Three HD <laughs> at times, you know. All right, I think we'll have uh, probably have time for one more level. Oh no, no, there's Nabbit. We have to go back and get him. <laughs> Time to use a star, man. <laughs> Taking out the nabbit. Gonna take out the nabbit. And I guess we gotta use. Yep, another star, man. Because this is what the star man is only you good for. Well, let's go. Let's grab this nabbit. And then we'll get on the next level. Nabbit's back! And now I have Starman, which means I can easily cheese this fight. No, Starman is not gonna stop him from me! The Nabbit can be a little finicky. Come on now. Oh, dang it. You are super fast for some for someone who's very small, very tiny. Come on, you. I'm gonna catch you by gliding. I'm gonna get you! You're not gonna get away from me! Gotcha! Yeah, you're not getting away from Toad. <laughs> you got myself back! Whew! Man, if I had an acorn suit, I would be I'd be able to do it myself too, but anyway, another acorn power suit for you! Nice. Man, we're gonna be having we're gonna be saving all these up in case we have to use them later. <laughs> oh well, back to uh, the glacier. We'll do one more level and then we'll probably call the session there. Uh, <laughs> two hours in, and, uh, we got pretty good progress. I'll th not, not bad for three worlds. Normally, uh, like, it was like, if it was like Mario 3 or whatnot, those levels are so short, you could probably get those within two hours, really. But, still. But let's also get the, uh, one guy here. The Blue Yoshi. We get to see what this guy's all about in the Cooligan Field, which are these penguin fellows that we keep seeing. But also the fact of the Blue Yoshi. The Blue Yoshi... Puts out bubbles. Yes, and it converts enemies into coins and other useful items. Like this thing, like that one up mushrooms for days. And also, the mu and also, I think you can use. Yeah, you can bounce off them. At least you can bounce them off them a little bit, but not by much. And that sense. Oh, and there you go. See, the blue Yoshi, I think, is actually the more useful of the Yoshi variants. Just because he has an attack. You know, he has a bubble. He has a bubble beam that can conform anything into coins or other items, and it's kind of, kind of weird. But you know, I'm not gonna question it. It is the Mario game after all. Oh, we got a, we got a, we got a power acorn suit out of that. Wow, <laughs> man, you're my favorite person. You're my favorite Yoshi now. <laughs> oh yeah, you can glide. You can glide with uh, the blue Yoshi with the acorn suit, but you know. Again, that's like the most useful. Again, this is the most useful combination you want to use. Oh, no. Also gives you a free hit, too, while you're at it. So, again, kind of nice. Ow! I'll take my fire flower, thank you. Come on, blast those away. Thank you. There you go. Boom, ba boom, boom, ba boom, boom. Woo! So, again, this guy is very useful. Jump, jump, toe, jump! Got it! Ow! <laughs> Got hit there. Goodness me. Also, the fact that I didn't realize this, but Toadette also doesn't slide on ice. So, if, again, if you want to ease your time on this world in general, use Toadette here. But again, Toadette is just easier to use. In general, really. Come on, give me a power-up! Oh, you didn't give me a power-up! I can't break those blocks! Come on, you should give me a power-up! Come on! Oh! Ow! <laughs> it ran right into the guy! That kinda hurt! I turned my back for one second! <laughs> I don't have any power-ups to use. Well, I could use the penguin suit if I really wanted to. <laughs> Save that for later use. But now I'm out of Yoshi! <laughs> Darn it! I'll take my power off if I can get this in time. 
Go, go, Toad! Go, Toad! Toad, I can't jump high enough! Oh, come on, that... My gimp jump! <laughs> well, I'm a Toad! What do you expect? I can't jump high! I'm not Mario! <laughs> that isn't true, that is true. I know, not all the characters have the same jump height. It's more of like which... Which uh, one you want to deal with first. Oh, come on, Toad! Okay, fine, we're gonna use that power-up. <laughs> I'm dying to this level for no apparent reason. Fine, we'll use the we'll use the power up I have. There we go. Penguin Penguin Toad, let's go. Uh Penguin Toad is also uh also an ice flower variant, but also can slide on ice. So now for of course I get the ice power up. <laughs> also it also prevents you from also the penguin suit also how oh. The ice suit also prevents you from sliding on ice. Again, it would be very useful if I did these Kooligan guys would just stop hitting me. Yeah, here. I want this. Power-ups. Yay, I can finally see what this is. Oh, coin. Yay. Oh. <laughs> and they get thrown in the ice and they don't get them... They just stuck in there. <sighs> I gotta forget that's how they drop so fast. They drop so fast, they do. Slight annoyance. Oh no, come on, come back here, you. Oh. Well, I can get up there. Hoot! Ow. <laughs> okay, never mind. There's the next coin up there. You have to use the Kooligans to get up there earlier. And eh, there we go. Level done! Only a couple of devs, but that's okay. And that's it. Not bad at all. But alas, folks, we have come to the end of our little journey for the moment. Uh, we'll save it. We'll be right here. But that's it for us tonight, folks, for the YouTube exit. Next time and Super New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe, we'll continue through the Frosted Glacier and get on to World 5 as well and see what other shenanigans Bowser has left in front of us. But until then, we'll see you around for another round of Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. See you guys then. The top for now. Ba-da-doo!